Hey guys, welcome back to another video of mine. So today I'm going to show you how you can do some easy and delicious tacos dorados de papas, which is um, fried tacos with potatoes. So basically I am using about three potatoes there and I'm going to show you how you could do an easy and quick uh, tomato salsa as well. I am using two big garlic cloves and three red tomatoes and two jalapenos and they are pretty big size. So if you don't like it too spicy, just use one big jalapeno. But I like it kind of like that mild spiciness, so I'm using two of these. And um, basically, I have my two pots ready there because I am going to put half a water in them because we are going to boil our tomatoes, jalapenos, and garlics. And we're going to boil our potatoes, and I am going to peel them off as well. So guys, if you guys would like to keep on watching, please give this video a like so I can still keep on sharing my easy recipes to you guys. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and put your bell notification so you guys won't miss a video of mine. So with that being said, let's get started with the process. So I have our water here to boil. Once it starts to boil, I will be adding our tomatoes and jalapenos and our garlic in there, the same as for the potatoes. So we are going to start to peel our potatoes. <clears throat> you could peel the potatoes or drop them in, the, in like this, but for me, I'm just gonna peel them off. That'll be a faster um, process for them to cook. Now that um, our water is um, boiling at the moment, I will add our jalapenos and remember to take uh, the tails off of them. So that's what I will be doing. And you could slice them up um, so they could cook faster as well, just like in a long length slice. Like this, or you could just put them in full. And it's just for like a faster process to cook. Okay. Um, I forgot to mention I am adding a little bit of our onion in there as well to give it a really good flavor. And I will um, just cut our tomato in as well. And our garlic. You could add the garlic to the blending processing or when you're boiling your salsa in here, but I will boot, I will put them in there for now. So now we're just going to let this boil up until we get our chiles and tomates to a very tender texture. So now that our water for our potatoes are boiling, we're going to add our potatoes in there. Oops. Be careful when you put them in because they are hot. And I'm just going to kind of cut it up as well like for it to cook faster. Okay. There goes our potatoes and we are just gonna let them cook thoroughly until our potatoes are softened. So we'll be back to check up on the potatoes and our salsa. Boiling already, um, I'm gonna add some salt. So we're gonna add some salt in here. Add two big Two and a half big pinches of salt so you could get enough salt for your potatoes there and cover it up again and we'll check up on the potatoes and I'm going to add some more some salt to our tomatoes okay pinch and another one so I will be adding more salt to this once we uh, start to blend it. Cover it up and we'll check up on them in a few minutes. Okay guys, so now that my tomatoes and jalapenos and all that is ready, I'm gonna turn the heat off and I'm gonna put this in our blender. So I have my blender here. See the liquid? That's enough liquid, so that's good because our tomatoes and jalapenos. 
and we are going to add one teaspoon of some oregano just to give it that good flavor in there and a pinch of salt only because we already added salt in there it's so just one more little pinch and we're going to blend as a red just because I did add two of the big jalapenos um, but if you do want to um, have it like a red uh, color I would say just add about four tomatoes big red tomatoes and one jalapeno but this is perfect for me so that's done so I'm gonna add this in here So once your potatoes are ready, you can poke them with a the knife and they go in through. So that means that they are ready. So these are done. The bigger ones are still cooking in, so I'm just going to give it about, about three, three, three minutes more because they were it was a big potato. So I'm going to give it about three minutes more and then I will take them out because they are half done. See, I just wanted to go in all the way. Cover it up. Okay, guys, so now that my potatoes are done, um, or chicken bouillon, bouillon to give it a good flavor, and I will be adding some of this cheddar cheese. You could, if you have mozzarella, um, that's, per, that's good as, as well. So I'm gonna add some of this cheese. Okay, now that we have our potato ready, um, I am going to pre-cook our tortillas in the comal, which is our griddle. And I do have this on a medium low um, high heat because we are going to add some oil. And we are going to add enough oil to fry these um, tacos. And I am using the extra olive, uh, extra virgin olive oil. So whatever oil you want to use is okay. This is how my potato came out with cheese. And we are going to fill them up. The potato. Now we're going to add these to our frying pan. So this is how they are coming out so far. They're crispy enough. So right here, I do have some cabbage. You could cut up cabbage or lettuce, but for me, I will be doing cabbage to top it up with our tacos. So I'm just gonna shred this up. These are my tacos dorados de papa. They're ready and scrunches. <laughs> so let me share with you guys the ranch. It's a secret sauce. Um, so it's something that I'm gonna use for my tacos as well. Um, I found this at Walmart, so if you would like to try this secret sauce, um, look at Walmart. Look into Walmart. I found it in the aisle where you can find all your um, like ketchup, mustard, um, barbecue sauce, and all that stuff. So I found this there, or oh, it's it was close to where the ranch section was at. And I am going to add some sour cream, and of course, like I showed you earlier, how to do your salsa. Very simple. And I did cut up some cabbage. You could do cabbage or lettuce, whichever you would like. So I'm going to um, start with the process in topping off our... There you have it, guys. 
so I hope you guys enjoyed this quick and easy taco dorado de papas and very simple to make for your family and yourself. Um, like I said, give this video a like and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.